Hi everyone and welcome to this week's catch up. Um, hope everyone's doing fine, adapting well, falling into some sort of routine. For me, I'm pretty antisocial anyway, so there's not much difference there. Um, anyway, what I'll be doing today in this week's vlog, I'll be showing you what I've been up to in terms of my quick, happy snapping photography on my daily walks. Um, a few variation of themes, similar compositions, but I'm also trying out a few new things as well. We'll go into that shortly. Um, this week I've not been working and I've been blessed with a bit of sunshine as well. So I've been taking advantage of it. I've been spending some time in my garden. Um, my garden is basically split into two parts. Uh, there's the area which is directly behind the house, which is coming on nice, and then the second part, which is just some overgrown mess. So I've done a lot of clearing out, a lot of burning as well, uh, upsetting the neighbours, as you do. Not really, not really. All very friendly, to be honest. I'll tell you what I've noticed, um, community spirits good not sure about you but for me last couple of weeks on a thursday at eight o'clock i've been going out with the uh doorway and clapping for the nhs key workers and i live in a cul-de-sac and it's good to see everyone else join in some are noisier than others some use pots and pans uh, my little five-year-old son runs up and down the drive screaming and shouting and dancing it's all good fun um talking of which has been spending a lot of time with my son this week a bit of father son bonding just to help out the missus so anyway before we go into uh this week's gallery i thought i'd have a brief chat to you about tripods uh, my history of tripods it wasn't until the other day where I was clearing out the room, did a bit of tanning, uh, dusting, because I do spend an awful lot of time in here lately, that I realise I currently have six different tripods. So what I thought I'd have a brief chat to you about is a mini history. So I've got them all lined up here. So, first of all, I'll take you back to 2007 when I first got into landscape photography and this is my first tripod and this is the Manfrotto 190 aluminium there's no ball head on it at the moment 2007 uh, I actually got an award in 2007 cracking tripod but it weighs a fair amount of weight and now <clears throat> Very, very stiff levers. Yeah, I can. Ugh, just not sure about you, but I don't tend to look after my tripods. Um, but yeah, a few scratches. I could have sold it on eBay. I could have done, but I thought for sentimental reasons, I'm going to keep it. So I had that for years and years, and then um, I thought I'd splash out and upgrade to a carbon fibre model. This is the. Um, 055, let me show you that, 055 CX Pro, 3-4 section, carbon fibre, um, always wanted a carbon fibre tripod so I finally got one, uh, a good ball head on this as well, this is the MHX Pro, good solid ball head, um, again, quite heavy very stable rigid did, did exactly what i want to do but i do a lot of hiking as you may know so basically what i want to do a deal combination of a tripod is to ensure that it's sturdy uh stable and also light one other thing as well these things these are death traps 
But these levers here, the amount of times I've caught myself, trapped my skin in them, come away with big blisters. Very, very painful indeed. So, too heavy. I wanted something uh, light but more practical. Avoiding these, I fancy the twist lock, um, and also wanted stability as well. So I took the plunge, and this is what I'm currently using. This is the Gitso Mountaineer uh, Series Two. I've always wanted a Gitso, but be, obviously for reasons due to expense, never quite got there. I was, however, in an in a fortunate position where I could afford one, so I thought I'd uh, buy it. I bought this, uh, was it last year, 2019, at the photo show? Brilliant try, but this, by the way, this actually protects the bowhead. This is the Series 2 um, bowhead and tripod. Big question is, is it worth it? Is it worth the expense? And simple answer to that, in my opinion, is yes. I don't plan on getting another tripod in the foreseeable future. This will last me for a very, very long time. Um, I can see why it costs a lot of money. I mean, the carbon itself is far superior than anything I've had before um, in terms of the Manfrotto uh, it's just solid I mean these twist slots solid absolutely solid good height as well that's what I didn't mention uh, I'm six foot so I need a decent tripod which has a good height um, this is spot on for me. I've actually opted for these small spikes. You can get, I think, three or four inch spikes, but to me, it's like, wow, death traps. Um, solid, well engineered. So hopefully, this will last me for a very, very long time. I do not intend to replace this whatsoever. So this is what I'm at at this moment in time. Right, so I also do a video, which you also uh, may realize so I also need a tripod for my video work as well my piece to camera like I'm doing now and also my b-roll so so again what I need is a good combination of stability and good weight light light as possible um, also practical, so a good tripod that folds down to the smallest um, volume as possible. And this is where I've been struggling lately. I haven't yet found a good combination. Remember height as well. If you do know of a tripod which has all those components, then let me know. Um, this is what I'm currently using. This is the Manfrotto uh, element. This is the big. I um, actually had a, a small version as well. Problem with that is the center column was not adjustable. Lovely little tripod. Very nice, light, compact, folded up into a nice small uh, space. Um, and it's working well up to the point where I was doing a piece to camera and I forgot about it. Took my camera off, forgot about it and drove off. I tend to do that quite a lot to be honest. Uh, especially in my smaller tripod such as this one. I mentioned this in the last vlog. This is the Manfrotto Picture. This is excellent. Brilliant. Really good for low ground B-roll stuff. Even photography. Um, this is my third one now because I've either lost them or forgotten about them and walked off. Um, so yeah, that's the Manfrotto big. Bit of damage there. Let's see that. Bit of damage, but it still works. It still works. You know, 
good solid nice height still on the slight heavy side so I'm still in search of um, an ultimate tripod to use for my video I've had my eye on the Manfrotto Element Carbon version um, before I got this by the way I was using this tripod which you have fixed on this is the Manfrotto Compact very very light and there's a reason for that it's basically plastic all plastic but in the uh, uh, nuts and the screws um, far too light love for what I was doing especially in the fells where it's a tad windy sorry shortly after I bought the uh, Manfrotto Compact I thought I'd go completely different and go for a Benro and this is the um, Benro see the small is it called a small travel slim slim uh, travel tripod slim um, so it's actually a uh, bipod at the moment so this section here actually fell off during one of my walks in the fells nice solid well constructed tripod very impressed very impressed indeed um, I've been used to Manfrotto since I started a bit too light however uh, I'm not I didn't quite give me the height that I needed as well uh, by the way this tripod also had a center column hook which is rather handy um, just to weigh it down with my bag um, but yeah so what I've been doing because of that um, every now and then I'll unscrew this take the ball head off like so bear with me and then it goes on there through that and this acts as a, a monopod like that I might do a little bit of b-roll using the Canon G7X yeah so it still has its use uses but overall too light for me again too light for me and it did not have the height as well right okay without further ado let's have a look at what I've been up to in terms of quick happy snapping um, during my walk one a day form of exercise so another early morning walk and it's typical really the day that I decided to do a small piece of camera the light has decided not to arrive with me it's been quite a a fine week again got quite lucky this week um, bit of difference bit of difference this week because I've had my five-year-old uh, son off school that's the school of St Burns Junior High School um, and I actually took him with me yesterday morning on a sunrise um, walk and he loved it, absolutely loved it. It's good to remind ourselves that we still have some good times um, in life to enjoy. Special moment, really. Seeing his face as the sun rose. Um, but yeah, anyway, in terms of photography, similar sort of things, really. Similar sort of compositions, scenes. I might have moved angles uh, from the previous week. You last saw me but I tell you what it's interesting um, as I progress each day that different things appear um, totally different outlook towards photography remember these are quick snaps quick snaps um, instinctive really um, I think next week what I'll do is I'll focus more on the close-up photographer um, I recently saw a post by David Spate on Twitter 
and he showed a wonderful panel of images, uh, abstract images. Um, Gareth Danks always, has also done a recent video as well, so I thought, why not? Why not give it a go? Right, okay. Um, I'm going to extend today's walk, uh, and that's going to include walking through the cemetery. And there's a nice cluster of trees which I've noticed before, so I'm going to give that a go. Right, carry on. Stay safe. happy how it went there a few variations of similar composition I shot the previous week uh, just tweaked a few here and there um, now as I said next week I'll be putting my hands to a bit of abstract photography a bit of close-up stuff not macro because um, I haven't got a dedicated macro lens I'll be using the same lens I'm using now the EFM 22mm f2 it's got a close focusing distance of 15 centimeters tape measure it as you do so 15 centimeters yeah close enough um, I'll be using a shallow depth as depth of field as well so play around with that play around with that and uh, venture around the garden and also see what we find in my daily walks okay so that's it for another week I'll see you next week look after yourself keep smiling and make sure those around you continue to smile as well take care of yourself bye bye for now